Hello everyone once again, this is Rob and welcome back to Media Awareness and another album review. This time of Ace Frehley's new album, 10,000 Volts, released today, February 23rd, 2024. Before I get to that, however, a quick reminder, the fundraiser continues. For those of you unaware, I am a disabled individual and I use a motorized wheelchair slash scooter all day every day for my independence and I need your help. Due to the fact that I'm unable to walk whatsoever, which many of you may not know, I use the wheelchair slash scooter all day every day. It is my independence and I pride myself on my independence. I thrive on my independence and that being said, I really need your help. My insurance will not cover anything with regard to my scooter as they view it as a quote luxury item end quote therefore i'm reaching out to you my youtube community there is a spot fund account link below and i'm attempting to raise funds to uh, replace parts before they malfunction entirely as some have already begun to do so and my goal was to have the, the entire scooter refurbished um, but at the time this is all said and done, uh, I don't have a backup scooter. So if this scooter malfunctions or goes in any way, shape or form, I am a fish out of water. I am reliant on people to push me everywhere I need to go. And I don't want to be that person. Uh, I want to be the person I am, someone that really is as independent as I can be in my everyday life. So with that stated, please do what you can. Any little bit helps. And the spot fund, like I said, link below in the description, right under the title in the description, as well as in a separate section below that. I do want to extend a gracious thanks to those people who have contributed. I've received some really generous contributions recently, and I really appreciate you guys. This means a lot to me, and you're really helping me out like you wouldn't believe. It means so much. Um, without this scooter, like I said, I'm a fish out of water. I'm dead in water. And with everything that's been going on with my wheel to ran, currently not functional at all, uh, <laughs> That's just another nail in the coffin. So I'm trying not to seal it entirely and I'm trying to keep myself out of, uh, you know, out of a uh, depressed state by um, continuing to restore the scooter I have to an optimum level of functioning capacity. And I appreciate you all for doing what you can. If you can't help, like and share, please also consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my ever-growing YouTube family. I'd love to have you. So, I'm going to, I have the track listing pulled up here and I'm going to put the album on quietly in the background so that way it does not get the video flagged for copyright, but um, it still may, I don't really know, we shall see. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Now, firstly, I do want to say right off the bat, I had a blast listening to this album. And that's why I listened to it so many times. Um, I listened to it all day today, really. Several times. And I really wish that I had a physical copy to share with you so that way I can hold it up for you and show you the packaging and everything else but unfortunately I was not provided with one uh, so my cat's acting crazy my apologies so <laughs> we start the album out with 10,000 volts which was the first single of the, of the album and it was a song that really made me aware of the album by uh, Justin Hawkins of Justin Hawkins Rides Again. And I did my reaction uh, based on his video and him doing his reaction to it. And I was impressed with 
the lead song in 2000 Volts. I thought it was a really fun song. It really sort of sums up Love at First Sight, which is really interesting lyrically the way that it's done, in my humble opinion. Now, the album itself is really just, it could be considered hit after hit after hit. Every song is catchy, every song has a great hook, uh, they're all really well written and well performed. So we have 10,000 Volts as number one, track one. Track two is the second single from the album, Walking on the Moon, which I did a reaction to on my channel. You can find that here as well. Number three is Cosmic Heart which is a really nice rockin' song. I love the rhythm of it, I love the beat of it. It's a really great tune that's catchy, like I said, the whole album is catchy. That's followed by the Cherry Medicine, which I reacted to yesterday. And um, track five is Back Into, uh, Back Into My Arms Again. Now this is the only song that I had a minor problem with, and it's a good song, do not get me wrong, but it reminds me of something, and well, it reminds me of two things, actually. The one I can't put my finger on, I cannot think of where it's coming from in my psyche, but the other song that Back Into My Arms Again reminds me of is the song Do Ya, made most popular by the Electric Light Orchestra. Um, it just has that melody to it. I don't know if it was accidental, I'm going to assume it was, because it does remind me of something else as well. And it is a really good melody for the song. So I'm not complaining. It just reminded me of that. And it's actually one of my favorite songs on this album. So it's just like a comment or a, um, a uh, observation, if you will, that the song reminds me of Duya. Um, and as we move along, track six is Fighting for Life. And it's another really heavy hitting, powerful song. Track seven is Blinded. Track eight is Cosmically Cute. Track 9, as soon as I can get my WordPad document to work here. Let me see here. Okay. Track 9, Life of a Stranger. Track 10, Up in the Sky. Track 11, Stratosphere. And that is the album. Now, like I said, this album is a fun album. I'm going to minimize this track listing so that way my face isn't quite so bright. And I can talk about the album, the production, performances, etc. Um, I was pleasantly surprised earlier today when I put this album on. It really, there we go. It really was an album that I think you could put on and you could cheer anyone up. It is a really upbeat album. There are some songs that are a little more heartfelt, but they always have this intensity about it. Now, I'm, I'm going to caution a lot of you. Ace Frehley's vocals are not for everyone. I happen to like them a lot. This album really brought Ace back to the forefront, for me at least. Got a lot of great songs, a lot of great uh, melodies going on, and it's a fun album to listen to. That's the best way I could put this album. You know, there are no detracting 
factors other than some of the songs being, you know, slight, you could call them a little cheesy, or you could call them a uh, cliche, but you could also just say, hey, it's rock and roll, man. And that's the bottom line. It's good old-fashioned rock and roll, and that's how I'm looking at this album. It's good old-fashioned rock and roll done in 2024, released in 2024, recorded in 2023, and I'm impressed. I really am impressed with this album as a whole. And if you want to put on an album at a party and just leave it go and not have to worry about any songs coming on that suck, put this album on. This album is just song after song, catchy, they are all really infectious. And what better way to to uh, to um, counteract an infection than with some great music and hooky music. It has a lot of hooks to it. The songs are all very clever and they get stuck in your head. And yesterday after doing my reaction to Cherry Medicine, I thought, wow, you know, this song is in my head. And uh, Cherry Medicine is really the cure for the infection that is this album because this album is brilliant. It really is. It, it's now I know a lot of people are gonna comment and say it's just like his old stuff or whatever. I can't say I really haven't heard much Ace material other than songs here or there over the years. And I've always liked his material. I've never really not liked it. And this album is the first album I've listened to in a long time by Ace from beginning to end. Throughout the day today, like it's dark outside, I don't know if you can tell, uh, and it's currently 9.19 p.m. <laughs> in northeastern Pennsylvania, here on the east coast of the United States. So, it's, it's not late, but it's, 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 you know, it's after sunset, and uh, I'm just really happy to, to be able to bring you this album review and to say good things about this album. I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, singles can be misleading, especially with classic artists. In this case, though, every song, like I said, is really memorable. That's the word I was looking for. They're memorable. And they're memorable in a good way. They, they really are, they aren't bad songs. Um, they're, they're, they're clever and they're catchy. You can sing them all once you know them. And you're going to want to, believe me. And like I said, Ace's voice is not for everyone. My voice isn't for everyone. I still sing now. And Ace still sings. So, you know, there's an audience out there for everyone. And, uh... Ace has a much wider audience than I have. But you know what? More power to him. The guy's been working hard and working all those years. The payoff is 10,000 volts. A powerful album with clever songs, catchy songs. Stratosphere, the final track, is an instrumental, which I was not expecting. It was a great instrumental, in fact. Uh, but I actually like the majority of the rest of the album. I really do. I think that all the other songs really, really hit hard. And they are really well done. Um, and kudos uh, to uh, the musicians who worked on this album. And the production is, is top notch. Everything is crisp. Everything is punchy. And you have your highs and lows in the mix. There isn't this flat mix like you hear in so many modern uh, recordings these days. And it really, that 
irks me to no end hearing just a boring production. This has dynamic range to it, and I like that. And another thing about this album that I also really like is the fact that Ace did not shy away from the good old fashioned fade out of songs in most of the songs on this album. They all, almost all of them have a traditional fade out, which is a lost art. It's starting to make a comeback slightly, but it's still something that I don't think a lot of people are used to. Uh, having gotten used to the just abrupt ending that songs have had in the recent in the recent past but the, you know this album has a lot of very classy fades and I could say that because I, I, <laughs> I've worked on music where I've had to fade things in and out um, via the Soundforge program which is archaic I know and I'm beating myself horribly by mentioning it but it is a, a good tool to use for musicians and or music editors for editing songs, fading in, fading out. And this song has a lot of traditional fades. And that made me smile because it, it just brought me back to a simpler time when music was really fun. And this music is fun. So get yourself a copy of Ace Freely's 10,000 Volts. Available now in your choice of formats wherever music is sold. It is available on CD, it is available on vinyl, it is available on MP3 for those of you who want to get it on MP3, and it is also available to stream, which I am doing currently. And I do hope to have a physical copy of this album sometime soon. But in the meantime, I was proud to bring in this review, I really was. And I hope that this review was helpful to you my fans of media awareness. This is Rob once again, and a reminder once again about the fundraiser. It continues, and you're all help is welcome. I am limited in what I can use as far as a wheelchair. I only have use of one hand, so I'm unable to use a standard wheelchair. I can only use my motorized scooter. Therefore, that's why it's so imperative that I keep it functioning as I do not have a backup as previously stated. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful morning, noon or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.